guys welcome back to my channel now we're gonna jump straight into this video um i am going on vacation in a few days and i thought what would be better than to install a brand new curly unit for you guys so i am installing this hair from yolisa they sent me this 30 inch water wave unit with hd lace it is a 13 by 4 frontal and when i tell you guys when it comes to curly units i only have two brands well three including mine that i love to order from and Yolisa is definitely one of them now guys if you know me on this channel I do not do the ball cap method because a girl is lazy but I'm going on vacation I need this wig to be on my head and not moving and not budging so we're gonna do the whole 10 yards so guys I'm gonna grab this ebon spray I have been raving about this spray on my channel it is so so good when it comes to installs in general so I'm gonna do two layers of it and I'm gonna make sure to blow dry it and make sure that it is complete completely dry before moving on to the next step so now i'm gonna grab any cream foundation or concealer that is my shade and i'm gonna use this to just coat the entire ball cap to make it look more natural and make it look like it is my scalp now guys i'm gonna go in with some regular scissors and i'm gonna cut off the excess part of the wig cap just to make sure that this step basically is just to make you look bald and to make your scalp just look like it's actually yours now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna cut the air taps just to make sure that the wig fits on perfectly and guys look at this lace look at the plucking everything is just looking so good already and now that it fits my head perfectly guys we can go on to actually gluing it onto my head so before you glue down any type of wig front or anything make sure that you clean it with alcohol because this removes any dirt or or anything that's on your forehead and I also go in with a skin protector just to make sure that it adheres to my skin properly now I'm gonna go in with two layers of glue I don't usually like to do more than two just because I don't like that gunky look and I feel like two is just perfect for me it holds for at least a week or two depending on how long I'm trying to keep my install in for so when I put the glue on my head I'm gonna make sure to spread it out evenly and make sure that it dries clear before moving on to the next layer so after spreading it evenly and letting the glue dry, I'm going to place the wig on my head. And guys, do not be scared to push this into your scalp. One thing about me, I'm going to press it so hard that it looks like it's literally my skin. But this step is very, very, very important just because this gives it that hold that you're looking for. If you don't press it hard enough, it's not really going to stick to your skin properly and it's gonna end up lifting over time so guys after pressing that i'm gonna go in again and press it with my fingers just to make sure that it is on my head and i'm gonna grab my blow dryer just to make sure that all the glue is properly dry and everything just melts together now whenever i cut off my lace i just put a little part in the middle or the side wherever i want to start cutting from and i just go in a jagged way with my cuticle cutters and i just cut this lace off and when i tell you the results after this looking like scalp this hair is thick this hair is full i believe it is 250 density and i think i want to do a side part with this hair i don't know side parts with curly hair just gives me that vacation vibe that i'm always looking for now guys i know vacation a lot of people like to do the swirly edges and all that but it don't look good on me so i'm just gonna go with my basic two baby hairs on the sides now i started recently whenever i part my baby hairs i just have to pluck behind it just to give it more of a natural look and i think it actually really looked good and guys if you know me when it comes to baby hairs on myself it is a struggle but i think i really ate on this one i did the two baby hairs on the sides then i also added the little sideburns and i think i did the little swirl with it that is literally the hardest thing for me to do when i'm doing hair but i took my wax stick and i put it on the front the sides and everywhere just to make it look more melted and make it look more sleek and i'm gonna go in again with my ebon spray and make sure that this wig is firm on my head when i tell you you have to do glue you have to do the ball cap you have to do spray everything together just makes it complete so after letting it dry guys i take off the elastic band and it's looking good it's looking melted and i'm gonna go back to the baby hairs and i'm gonna trim them and make them shorter so that when i do curl them it is way easier for me so when it comes to baby hairs with curly hair i especially like to curl it with my little curling iron well flat iron just because it gives it that little swirl that you're looking for when you curl it just regularly without doing this it looks good but it's not giving what's supposed to give 
now guys i am doing soft baby hairs and i know you guys are like then why are you grabbing got to be just listen listen for one second i like the soft baby hairs but i don't like it when it gets messed up like immediately after doing it so what i do first is i use the got to be just to keep the top down and then i go in with some hairspray and then i lay them and i make them look fluffy the hairspray is what really gives it the fluffiness just because it's not harsh and it's not really a gel so it's not gonna tack it down like how got to be gel would do and i go in with mousse just to make sure that those little ends do blend back into the rest of my hair and guys i've never done soft baby hairs like this on myself before i started doing it on my clients and i just really loved the way it looked and i decided to try it on myself for the first time for this unit and guys you can see me struggling just let me do my thing if it takes me five hours it takes me five hours and for the sideburns i noticed that the soft baby hairs it works but i think i have to go in with mousse for this just because it's a little bit harder to mold into shape if i just use regular hairspray but guys what do you think of the baby hairs i really tried my best this time so i just put some mousse on the front just to make the lace blend a little bit more guys look at this hair i'm not even done but it's already looking so so good now guys, I'm going to cut this off and show you guys how it is looking so far. Baby hairs are laid, the lace is laid, everything is looking so good. And I was just going to do the flip over, but I don't know, it's not, I'm not feeling it. So I think I'm going to do an actual side part. So I'm just going to partition that and I'm going to make it curved. I don't think anyone really does the straight side parts anymore. I think that's really out of style when it comes to hair. So I'm going to go with my wax stick and I always go in and layers of my hot comb to make this flat i do not like any bumpy parts at all now guys if you have made it this far in the video you're basically done if you want to leave it poofy like this you can go ahead and do that but i always just add a little bit of mousse just to make it look a little bit more defined but thank you guys for watching this video make sure that you click all the links down in the description box to get this exact unit Follow Yolisa on Instagram and make sure that you follow all my socials down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, have a great day.